All right, today we're going to be reviewing 15 probability questions from the 2008, 2013, and 2017 SHSAT student handbooks. Links are in the description. We will start with Form A, question 80, off of the 2008 SHSAT handbook. It asks, the probability of drawing a green candy from a jar of 20 candies is 1 over 4, so we know the probability is 1 over 4. How many yellow candies should be added to the jar in order to reduce the probability to 1 over 6? So we know that 20 candies... We have 20 candies in total, and we don't know how many, we do not have, know how many green candies. And you could look at this originally, right, right now you can look at this and see, wow, these are, this is just a simplified, this simplified is equal to 1 over 4. We can cross over, we can cross multiply to find what the scale factor is and what x is. So you get 20 is equal to 4x, x is equal to 5. So we have to multiply 1 over 4 by 5 in order to get, our original reaction, which was 5 over 20. That's our original probability. And now we want to find, turn 5 over 20 into 1 over 6, uh, which means that we have to find a denominator that is divisible by 5 that gives us 6. What number divisible by, or what number divided by 5 gives us 6? 30 divided by 5 gives us 6 as our denominator. Which one of these numbers will give us 30 if we add it to 20? 10 will give us 30 if we add it to 20. That's how we solve that problem. Moving on to problem number 98. Uh, here it is. 27 marbles in a can, 7 were black, and 4 were yellow. 3 black marbles. Uh, Jay removed 3 black marbles and then one more marble at random. What is the probability that it was red? Okay, so we had 27 originally, then we removed 3 black marbles from the total. So now we have 24 black marbles in total. And we want to find how many red, but we don't know how many are currently red. So we, so we just have to solve for that. Um, so this were, we had seven black marbles, but then we removed three. So now we have four. And then we also have four yellow marbles. And then we have X red marbles. And that's equal to 27. Sorry, that's equal to our new total of 24. Eight plus those red marbles. X red marbles is going to equal to 24, and X is going to equal to 16 red marbles. So now our new probability is 16 over 24, which is 2 thirds, uh, which is K. Uh, moving on, we have form B, question number 94. It's going to take a while scrolling, but we'll get there. Uh, mostly, most probability questions are follow the same format and are actually pretty easy, so they should just be free points on the SJSAT. From a box containing five black marbles, eight pink marbles, six white marbles, and five yellow marbles, Ingrid removed five, four marbles, one of which were black. If she removes one more marble at random, what is the probability that it will be black? Um, okay, so we have to find, obviously, I have to find the total first. So 8 plus, uh, 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 plus 6, sorry, 13 plus 6 is 19, 19 plus 5 is 24, so we have 24 in total. Uh, but then remember, we removed 4 black marbles, so our new t uh, total is going to be 20, because 24 minus 4 is 20. And if she removes one more marble at random, what is the probability that it'd be black? Remember, uh, we had five black marbles in total at, at originally. And then when she removed these four marbles, one of, one was black. So five minus four, sorry, five minus one gives us four. So now we have a total of four black marbles. And we want to find the probability of choosing any of those four marbles out of our new 20 marbles. So we write 4 out of 20, 4 is our part, 20 is our whole, and this simplifies to 1 over 5, which is H. That's it for 2008. We're heading over to 2013, Form A, Question 83. A box containing 11 marbles, 7 red and 5 green. Oh, it's not on draw. 7 are 4, 4G. Uh, five of these marbles were removed at random. The probability of drawing a green marble is now 0 0.5. How many red marbles were in the box? Okay, so if five of these marbles were removed, our total went from 11, is 11 minus 5, which is 6. 
So our new total is 6 marbles, all right? If the probability of drawing a green marble is now 0 0.5, what, what over 6 gives us 0 0.5? Exactly. 3 over 6 gives us 0 0.5, because that's 1 half. 1 half is equal to 0 0.5. So we, uh, so we know that one, uh, if we went from four green to three green, we know only one green was removed, which means that the other four had to be red because five were removed in total. Five minus one is four. That means the rest had to be four red that were removed. Hope that made sense. Uh, heading over to form B, question 86. I don't know if I'm doing a good job explaining these. Please let me know in the comments. Um, greatly appreciated. I think 86 was a tricky one, but I'm not so sure. Certain. 86 uh, would be right here. Okay. A song, ra uh, a radio station Samat plays Samantha's favorite song six times each day at random times between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. The song is five minutes long. If Samantha turns on the radio at a random time between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., what is the probability that her favorite song would be playing? So for probability, we use part over whole, p over h. Sorry, p over w. Wrong whole. <laughs> um, but we don't know what our whole, uh, but we're not given a regular whole. So we have to find one. So if we're if it's relating to time, obviously, our, uh, and we want to find the probability of it playing between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., the time between these 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. is going to be our whole. So how do we find how many hours are between it? We convert it into military time. A.m. is always going to be a regular number, so we're, uh, so we're going to 8 minus, uh, we add 12 to, we add 12 to 5 to get 17. 8 minus 17 is 9, so 9 hours pass. Uh, if it's p.m., add 12. If it's a.m., it stays the same. It's just easier to subtract and deal with those numbers if you convert it into military time. So we know nine hours pass, uh, which is uh, nine time nine hours, and there's sixty minutes in an hour. So in that time, you know that approximately five hundred forty minutes have passed. So that's our whole. Now, what's our part? If it plays six times each day at random times, and it's five minutes long, six times five is equal to 30, which is 30 minutes. So out of that 540 minute sample, there's gonna be 30 minutes of song, and that's gonna give us our probability of playing it. And if we do, uh, I have a calculator for time's sake, if we do 30 divided by 540, we get one over 18, which is G, and that's our answer. This one may look difficult, but it really isn't. Just digest the problem one by one and find a logical solution. Uh, and that, this is it for 2013. We're heading over to 2017. Form A, question 73. A box of colored pencils contains exactly six red pencil. Oh, it's also not on draw. Oopsie. Six red pencils. The probability of choosing a, re choosing a red pencil from the box is two over seven. How many of the pencils are not red? Once again, uh, just like the first 2008 problem, the, it's a simplified equation. So right here is red, and this is our whole. In order to get, in or, we simplified six red to two red. Thus, we had to divide it by three. So now we have to multiply by three. And multiply by three. Now we get six over 21. So we have six red and 21 in total. How many of the pencils in the box are not red? So if we have 21 in total and 6 are red, 21 minus 6 will give you how many are not red. Uh, 21 minus 6 is 15. So our answer is B. Heading over to number 78. In a, in a sample of 10 cards, 4 are red, 6 are blue. If two cards are selected at random without, without one time without replacement, which is probably that both cards are not blue. Okay. So in a sample of 10 cards. Uh, so if 6 are blue, and we're asking for how many are not blue, that means that they're going to be 4 out of 10. So the first time we go come and pick out of there, there are going to be 4 available red cards to choose from. But if we take away one of these red cards, we're going to have 3 red cards next, since we didn't put it back. And since, since we lost one red card, our total is also going to change. 
by one. So if two cards, if two cards, and these are the two cards that we selected. Our first card is four because we already had four. Our second card is three because we already took our first red card. And if we multiply these, we and simplify it, we should get two out of fifteen because that's twelve over ninety. I think that should be it. One second. 12 over 90, we got which is 2 over 15. Um, moving on to question 99. A box contained 5 strawberry candies, 3 banana candies, 2 orange candies. If Braden selects 2 candies at random from the box without replacement, what is the probability that both candies are not banana? Once again, another one of these problems. So, right here. Uh, here's a strawberry and orange, not including banana. We add these. It gives us seven in total. Um, and let's find our total. We have, In order to find the total, we have to add five to three, which is eight, and then eight to two, which is ten. So we're out of ten, which is probably that we choose something that is not banana. Seven out of ten is our original choice because we have seven non-banana distributed among ten total candies. And then once we choose this original candy, we're going to have six non-banana candies left over nine total candies including banana because we one was already taken so it's going to decrease and if we multiply this and we simplify it we should get seven out of 15. And moving on to question 108 a sports uh sports store contains has a container of hand handball handballs don't know why okay four blue five red eight yellow nine white and eleven green if one ball is picked at the container at random what is the probability that it would be yellow okay so we have to find our hole first so we do four plus five uh four plus five which is nine plus eight plus nine plus eleven we should get 37 in total so out of 37 balls we have eight yellow so we have 8 over 37. That's our probability of choosing yellow. This was 108. We're now heading over to form B. Basically, the, they're, really, the, they're really easy, these uh, probability questions. You should not be messing up on them. Uh, and yeah. I think we are number 70, we have passed it, sorry. Number 70, okay. The table above shows the different times we're short at the restaurant. Based on this information, what is the probability of a customer ordering ice cream as dessert? So, uh, percent is basically probability. Uh, we want to know part over whole. So our ice cream is going to be our part, but all of this is going to combine is going to be our whole. So we simply add all of this. We add 42 to 23. So 47 to 48, we get 170 as our total. Oh, nope, we get 160 as our total. And then in order to get our, uh, and our whole, and our part is 48. So 48 out of 160. 48 divided by 160 is 3 out of 10, which is 30%, which is F. Moving on, number 73. Oh, right here. A cooler contains three types of beverages, five bottles of apple, three bottles of grape, and six bottles of fruit punch. What is the probability that a bottle chosen at random from this cooler is not apple juice? Okay, so we have to find our total first. Five plus three, which is eight. Eight plus six, which is 14. So we have 14 in total, not apple juice. Five is apple juice, class that out. 3 plus 6 gives us our non-apple juice total, which is 9, and 9 out of 14 cannot simplify that, so that's our probability. Moving on to 89, and 89 should be next page, yeah, right here. Amy surveyed students in her school about the number of pets they have. What is the probability of a student who participated in the pet has at least two pets? has at least two pets. Okay, so if it's at least two pets, that means they have two pets or they have more than two pets. So we can add automatically cross this part of this table out and we can cross this part of the table out. 
So now we're dealing with at least two pets right here. Um, in order to find it, we have to find our hole. Our hole is going to be 12 plus 16 plus 7 plus 5. Uh, 12 plus 16 plus 7 plus 5 is going to give us 40. Sorry. It'll give us 40. And we divide this by 12 because that's our part, the people who have uh, two or more dogs. So 12 over 40 simplifies into 3 over 10 or 30% or D. Then we go on to number 103, uh, which is as follows. In a sample of 50 cars, so 50 cars, uh, 12 cars, there are 12 cars, <coughs> sorry, there are 12 red cars, so 12 are, uh, 10 cars with backup cameras, uh, 10 cars have backup cameras. Of the 12 cars, 4 have backup. So, uh, so we have 4 red backup backup cameras. If the car is selected from random at a given sample, what is the probability that both of the following are true? It is not red and does not have a backup camera. Okay, so if, if we have 50 cars in total and 12 are red, we can just do 50 minus 12, which gives us 38. So we have 38 non-red cars, but some of these cars still have backup cameras. So if four red cars have backup cameras, that means six non-red cars have backup cameras. Because we four, sorry, because 10 minus 4 is 6. So if six non-red backup cameras have, sorry, yeah, if six non, if there are six cars which are not red and have backup cameras, we have to subtract it from this total. And that gives us 32 over 50, which is 16 over 25. <clears throat> we had 50 cars, we subtracted 50 by 12 to get the non-red cars, and we subtracted that number by 6 to get the cars without a backup camera. And number 109, a ball is selected at random from a box that contains 7 black balls, 14 green balls, and 21 red balls. What is the probability that a ball selected is black? We do 7 plus 14 plus 21 to get our hole. 14 plus 7 plus 21 is equal to 42. We do 42 over 7. That gives us 1 over 6a. Uh, and then moving on to number 114. Carlos tossed a paper clip, sorry, paper cup air 50 times and found that the probability of it landing on the side was 72%. If he tossed the cup uh, in the air 50 more times, 150 more times, which is the total number of times it is expected to land on the cup. So if he wants to do it, he did it 50 times, and he wants to do it 150 more times. So that's 200 in total. And the probability is going to stay 72 regardless. So you can just multiply uh, 200 times 0 0.72, and you get 144. Because 72% of the cups are going to land on their side. 72% of 200 is 144. Those were all the probability questions that I have today. Um, I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know in the comments if it's good or bad. Have a nice day.